Hi, I'm Brennan with Weedex Lawn Care, servicing the North Texas area. Today we're going to talk about the effects of grubs on residential turf grass or just turf grass in general. Uh, we're here today looking at this lawn after, you know, further investigation or analysis of this lawn. You know, I can kind of see a little bit of the lawn that's starting to dry out, but you don't want to be single-minded, you know, when you're looking at the yard and just think that it's drought stress. You want to do a little bit further investigation this time of year. You know, we're sitting right here at the very beginning of August, and we know that grubs are a nuisance this time of the year, and this is when you're going to see most of their damage. I would say, you know, first of September till the middle end of October before they go, you know, boil themselves below the freeze line. So I started walking the parkway area here. I tugged on a few areas a little bit further back where you know I think it's just drought stress, a little bit of mower burn, but I got a little bit further down on the parkway and I could tell that the soil just, you know, just from walking on it, just started feeling a little bit softer. So I went down to tug on it and immediately the root system started to release. I pulled the turf grass back and within the top probably quarter to half inch thick layer of the soil structure, you know, Greg and I found a grub in it. If he wants to zoom in on it, he can see the grub larva right there where it's, you know, you can tell that it's C-shaped. It has the yellow head on it, kind of the milky, um, uh, you know, anal area. And you can tell that this grub has been feeding on this turf grass root system causing damage. Uh, this time of year, it, it's hard to, you know, get any type of control other than just, you know, uh, you know, contact kill insecticides that will kill the physical grubs that are here. You know, the type of recovery that you're gonna get this time of year is gonna be very minimal, but at least we can stop them from doing further damage and know in the future that we can do a grub control roughly, you know, first of June till the first of July that the turf grass will hold in systemically in its root system. So that way when the larva starts to feed, you know, maybe middle of August, 1st of September, and throughout, you know, September and 1st of October, that, you know, it'll kill those grub larvae off and then you won't get the physical damage to your turf grass. You know, it's going to, you know, really start doing and showing the damage, I would say anywhere from middle of August, maybe a little bit earlier, just depending on, you know, the year, and throughout probably about October, mid-October, before it starts burrowing down below the freeze line so it can overwinter. Um, so the indicators that we're looking for as you know a lawn care company or a lawn care technician is discoloration in the turf grass. Obviously like this lawn has is the armadillo rooting um, and we're also looking for uh, soil that is softer uh, you know and you can tell that indicator when you're walking through the lawn doing your normal treatment if I step in an area where the soil is really hard panned and tight together and then I take another step and the soil feels real loose or aerated this time of year that's an indicator to me that you know the turf grass roots in that area have been churned the soil has been churned and you know that could be susceptible area for grub damage um, again that threshold for grubs is right between that three and six per square foot and it could be on the lower end when you have a lawn like this that has other stress factors that you know are you know it's attacking it as well or you know that it's dealing with as well this lawn is drought stress i can tell that by the just matted grass discoloration in the grass whether it be brown or gray to look it just has no vigor no buoyancy no bounce back just because the nutrients that give it that are depleted um as well as just you know the soil's real just dry and you know just um not well watered or doesn't have adequate moisture So upon a, you know, further you know, investigation or analysis of the yard, we can see the rooting throughout the yard. Um, it's just a telltale sign that armadillos are you know, basically foraging or rooting in the yard looking for a, you know, a food source. Typically this time of year, the food source that they're looking for are grubs. Um, you know, there are a few pockets throughout the yard where I can feel that the roots are releasing, where the grubs are actually damaging the yard. But sometimes armadillos are just going to naturally, you know, innate to them that, you know, they know that their food source is coming this time of the year. So they're going to dig in the lawn to find grubs. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's enough grubs at that threshold where it's going to damage the grass per se, but they're again still going to look for that food source just because it's just part of their DNA per se. Um, 
you know, there's several different things that we're gonna do when we see this. We're gonna walk through the yard, we're going to tug on the grass to see if the roots release. We're physically gonna dig around in the soil where the grass releases or the roots release from the upper plant material to see if we can physically see enough grubs at that threshold of, you know, whether that's three, four, six grubs per square foot to physically do damage to that turf grass. At that point in time, we're gonna recommend that that homeowner go ahead and get, you know, treated for grubs. At this point in time of the year, you know, we're sitting right now, September 28th. Uh, September 28th, you know, grubs are probably about a month, a month and a half to borrowing to a point or digging to a point where they're gonna overwinter. But right now we can do a grub curative. It's going to be, a pretty much a contact kill insecticide the product that we're going to use it'll take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours to become effective on killing off that grub population and then what we're going to do for the future is we're going to recommend that that customer get signed up or get started with a grub control product we can do that product roughly right around the end of june middle of june time frame and it's going to be a systemic product that holds into those turf grass roots it's not going to you know stop the process of that complete metamorphosis of that June bug. I mean, these grubs are going to be, which, you know, the complete, the adult part of that insect is a June bug. I'm sure all of us have seen them flying around our night lights at night during that May, June, July time frame. That's the time of the year where that June bug is, you know, reproducing. And then that female is gonna burrow down in the grass. It's gonna lay its egg. That egg's gonna hatch into its larval stage. At that beginning larval stage, Maybe that's August, mid-August. It's going to start really heavily feeding. Thank you for your time. And feel free to contact us at Weedex Lawn Care for any of your lawn care needs. And please remember to join our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook for lawn care tips.